Okay, today we're just going to do a quick video on a rear sight, or not rear sight, but a iron sight adjustments. Hopefully it'll be a quick video and it won't be confusing. We're going to concentrate on more of the rear sight, since there's not too many front sights out there that are adjustable. I know there are some. We're going to be using a fours formula. We'll get into it a little bit later. Uh, the fours acronym stands for front, opposite, rear, same, which is referring to your group shopping and the direction you want them to go. Front opposite means that you're going to move your front side the opposite direction of where you want your group to move. Uh, rear, you're going to move the rear side the same direction you want your group to move. Uh, for example, we're going to do the rear side here first. Your point of aim is right here at the bullseye, obviously, and you say your group of shots. Let me get my marker to work. Or over to the left. You're going to move your rear sight to the right because you want your groupings to go over to the right towards the bullseye. The same with if your point of impact is down below it. You're gonna move your you want your rear sight in the same direct you're gonna move your rear sight in the same direction you want your grouping to move, so you're gonna move your rear sight up. Which is gonna move the grouping up towards your your point of aim. Same with right and uh, above your target. Uh, front opposite, obviously if your group is to the left going to move your front side the opposite direction you you want your grouping to move. So we want our grouping to move to the right. If we're adjusting our front side, we're going to move our front side to the left. And the same here. If we want our grouping to move up, we're going to move our front side down, which you which more the front side you're going to adjust and buying a new side, whether it's bigger or smaller. I hope that's not more confusing. And also, something to keep in mind when you are adjusting your sights, even on a pistol at 25 yards, you can move your your rear sight as little as two hundredths of an inch. And that can move your grouping at 25 yards as far as three inches just from that little minute adjustment there. Um, so, like I said, just keep the fours in mind, especially for the rear, rear same. You want to move your rear sight in the same direction you want your grouping to move. That's it. Oh, we didn't confuse you too much. If you have any questions or anything, let me know.